In this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use keyframes in uh, CapCut, right? It's a great feature. It's really useful for a bunch of situations where during a lot of cases, you can use keyframes and you can turn out, you can create, you can really add to your video something totally different, really affects an early animation. So now without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Now you can simply click on new project here to start a new project, but I already have here a video project that I worked on. So I'll just click on this. And now uh, here I will remove some of these keyframes I have added. Okay, I'll just remove them. But to add a keyframe, it's very simple. I'll actually take a screenshot so I can show it exactly where it's located. It's located right over here. After you select the video and you see this uh, white highlight, you see this icon here. Right over here, you'll see this icon. This icon is keyframe feature. So if you click on this feature right now, now you add a keyframe. This keyframe will contain uh, the rotation, the uh, uh, the size. So if you now, let's say I don't add anything, it's literally the same position. I didn't change anything in this uh, portion of this video and I move a couple of seconds ahead. And now I add another key from my click here. I press on, I tab on the screen on that feature icon. Now I zoom in now and I also rotate now this free keyframe will contain rotation which is changed because i changed it's actually reduced straight that i changed the rotation and also i zoomed in which changed the size so now if i go at the beginning i have a keyframe i have an animation now you cannot add this let's say maybe you want to move and now you don't even have, let's say you move, as you can see, I moved a couple of frames ahead and I'm not doing anything else. I won't press on the keyframe icon, but I will also, I'll just change this video size and rotation. And now, as you can see, we also have another keyframe exactly at the same location and it was, add, it was added automatically by CapCut, which just, uh, you know, notice or yeah, just probably notice the right word that I changed the rotation, the uh, dimension, the, just the resolution. I just zoom out. So the application just noticed that, just, um, you know, observed or, or just saw that I changed or, you know, I don't know the right term, but yeah, as you can see, now I have this animation and this is really uh, helpful for multiple scenarios. As I said, for text, you can apply this for text and for other um, other things, you know, also for text, for images, for videos. So if you have any questions, guys, leave your questions down below if you, uh, you'd like me to uh, maybe create a different video related to this topic, to this tutorial, and you want me to explain something, please leave your questions down below. I really hope you found this tutorial helpful and now you, understand, you fully understand how keyframes works. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.